Do you need a plasma cutter? Do you cut metal? I'm hoping you said yes because today what I got here is a Silatu 750P Pilot Art Plasma Cutter. They sent it to me to review it on the channel. This is a 75 amp plasma cutter. Honestly, it's going to be the most powerful plasma cutter I have here in the channel. And it's supposed to cut up to three quarters of an inch clean. So I want to take it out of the box. We're going to review it and we're going to see how good this thing can cut. Now this is one of my favorite parts. Okay, so first of all, even if you have never used a plasma cutter, I'm gonna show you these things are super simple and this is the things that come with it when you open the box. You're gonna have an air hose, uh, which honestly, I'll be honest with you, most people already have a quick disconnect hose so this is pretty much not necessarily but it's kind of cool that they provide it because if you don't have an air hose you can still use the machine you're gonna have your cable to ground whatever material you're working with there is a little tool that they provide um, this is just to work with your torch gun then you're gonna have your torch gun, which by the way, this thing looks pretty solid. Uh, it has a little pivot on the hose itself. Uh, you know, the trigger guard. It, it does look good uh, and it's probably around, it's pretty long. To be honest with you, this is probably around maybe nine feet. And then this is one of the coolest thing that they normally come with this now. Uh, this is a dual voltage machine, which means you can use it on 110 volt. But if you really want to crank out that power from the machine, you're going to have to use it on 220 volts. So you're not going to be able to use these if you want to get the maximum power out of the machine. You're going to have some consumables. This is just two electrodes, two nozzle tips, and two air hose couplings with Teflon tape. And then you're going to have your instructions, with, which pretty much will give you all the information that you need to know about this plasma cutter itself. A cool thing that I already find on this machine is that it has a quick disconnect for your air hose but also on the back of it, it has a, what it looked like a breaker for your house. So I think that it's pretty cool that they put that in there because that will protect the machine itself. So putting this thing together is gonna be super simple. We're gonna remove this cover. It's like a little cap. I'm gonna take it out of the way and we're gonna install our torch. So now we're gonna grab our torch switch and you can only put this one way. It has a little indentation on the cable itself. We're gonna push it in and we're gonna twist it. Once our torch switch is on, we're gonna remove this little cap and this is gonna be our pilot R cable. Now the last thing we're gonna do is to put the earth clamp. And it's the same thing. This thing can only go one way. So you're just gonna put it on and then you're gonna twist it clockwise. So the last thing we have to do is just plug it in and connect the air hose. All right guys, so we have the air already hooked up and this is the 110 volt adapter and I'm just, I just wanna put it on and see how much amps we're gonna be able to get out of this machine at 110 volts. So this is gonna be your amperage and you can adjust it just by turning this knob 
and at 110 volts we can max out at 40 amps which is gonna be good enough to cut up to 5 16 of an inch a little bit bigger than a quarter of an inch so that is pretty good if you ask me now if we move up to 220 volts So now you can tell the machine already know we are 220 volts and the max amperage now is going to be 75 amps which is going to be the biggest plasma cutter I have gotten on the channel like I said before I think the biggest one I had before was maybe 55 or 60 amps uh, so man I, I'm excited to start cutting with this but let me explain you how this machine works so again this is going to adjust your amperage then you're going to have this button with say metal when you press it, you can choose between cutting mesh or a solid plate of metal. Then you're going to have your unit, which is going to be your post time and your pilot arc. When you press one of those buttons, so if I go to post time, I can adjust my post time to be 3 seconds or 15 seconds. And the post time is pretty much air coming out through your tours to cool down your consumable so since we're gonna be cutting some heavy stuff I'm gonna leave it for at least 10 seconds and then you're gonna have your pilot arc just five seconds that's gonna be the amount of time that you're gonna have to start cutting uh, if the machine doesn't notice any ground then it's gonna the pilot arc is gonna cut off if you start cutting to a grounded material then you got you can keep and continue cutting then you're gonna have your 4T and 2T 2T is going to be you press the trigger to start cutting and then you got 4T you press the trigger to start cutting you can let go of the trigger and then to stop cutting you're going to have to press the trigger again and now you're going to have your air and cut when you set air is to adjust your air pressure so we're going to press it and it's at 43 psi I can turn it down or up and then once I'm ready to start cutting I'm going to set it for 40 right now and I'll press it again and I cut. So now we're ready to cut. I got it at 40 PSI and 25 amps because we're gonna start cutting some tin material. So what I got here is a 1 16 of an inch. This is a beer opener. This is stainless steel. I think it's super strong. I cannot bend it with my fingers if I wanted to. Um, but this machine is gonna take something like this and it's gonna laugh at it. And we're gonna cut these at 25 amps the very lowest that we have the settings on the instructions just to see how good this thing can cut so let's start cutting this It's not even hot to the touch. And look at that. Super clean. Let's move up now to a quarter of an inch, uh, 35 amps, 50 PSI. I feel like I could have gone a little bit faster. That's still pretty clean cut. Uh, a bit of a slack in the bottom. Let me see if I can take that off. So the slack came out super easy. Uh, look at that cut. That is super clean. This is a quarter of an inch, 35 amps at 50 amps. Uh, let's move up to three quarter of an inch and see what we got. Okay, so this is gonna be three quarter of an inch uh, powder coated this is a hitch that i had here in the garage i'm never gonna use that anyway it's still powder coated i'm not gonna grind it i'm just gonna try to cut it a clean cut and i'm going for 75 amps 75 psi let's see what happens so 
So I almost forgot, I have to grind a little bit of the back of it. That way the machine knows that I am cutting. Because what you saw right there is the pilot are going for five seconds and then just stop because it doesn't really know that it's cutting anything. I have to grind the material so the machine know that I am cutting the material. So let's do that and then we're gonna give it another try. So there it is, I didn't grind anything of these. This still powder coated, the only thing that I grind was these. So when I put it on the table, the machine will know that I am working with this. There you go, boys. The moment of the truth. So as you can see, he does cut it. It's not clean. Um, I mean, it is kind of clean. I'm gonna blame it on myself. I'm gonna try it again. Uh, this is, that was 75 PSI. I'm gonna crank that PSI up and see what happened. Um, it is not a bad cut, but it was not what I'm expecting. So I'm going to crank the PSI to 90 and see what happens. That's it. Guys, check this out. You see that slack? Watch how easy that come off. That is super clean. Three quarter of an inch. So easy. Wow, I have to clean this up and show you better. So check that out. This is three quarter of an inch. And it's as clean as the quarter of an inch that we cut. I mean, this is insane. I was expecting something clean, but not this clean. This is crazy. So guys, these things are so clean. These cuts, I, I was expecting this to be clean, but not these. This is crazy. This machine right now, I think it's going for under $300 on Amazon, which I'm gonna leave a link in the description. Uh, they have some kind of prime deals right now. The, the price is normally a lot higher, but because of those deals, right now it's under $300 for what you're getting. I think this is a great machine. One thing I wanna tell you, because you do want to do this, whenever you use the machine and you hear the fan running, even if you stop cutting, don't go ahead and shut the machine off. Let the fan run, because that's how the machine cools down the circuit. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you, like the video don't forget to leave me a comment a like that's really gonna help my channel and i'll see you in the next one